We can be here all night. We got a million speeches to go through. Yeah, Bill Hollins. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Keith Denebheim, are you here? Of course, Denebheim's not here. All right. Well, we'll push him to the back. JC, do you have anything for the peeps today? Be patient. We're, uh, you're almost done, aren't you? Is I am. Hey, so there are some playoff games that have been getting thrown in. And I don't think it's me or Wayne, but they emailed me and they say it's at Hendrickson. They emailed him and say it's at Hawk. We both put it in. So if I have double crew somewhere, I'm trying to catch him. If you do get an email, those of y'all that shoot him, let me know. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Thank you. All right. Is Slant Jackson here? Mr. Jackson. I'm dangerous today. I'm walking around with a list of open games, so if I spot you, you're not on here. I've added a couple of games for you this week. Yeah, thanks so much. I appreciate it. We only had 53 this week. That's down from 62 last week. So. 62 games last week. I threatened bodily harm to Mike Jackson because. He bailed on me and left us to work three man in Johnson City, but I couldn't let I couldn't let him go two man. I was gonna go drink some beer or something. Why no? Hey, all mine's about the barbecue. Barbecue is next Monday. The barbecue is still next Monday, and I need a head count. So we're going to make my phone explode. Either yes or no. Respond either way. Text me or email me, and you can do it right now. Make my phone go off. I need about 390 answers. Yes, you're coming, or no, you're coming. No, you're not coming. So I don't have to guess at Burt's. And being pulling foods, I think the record is like 800 and something pounds. So we got to fill up a truck. No, we broke it, I think, two years ago. Done. Vote. For everything, but vote whether you're coming to the barbecue or not. There you go. There you go. Easy enough. Is Denebheim here yet? What fat guy? Oh. <laughs> now you're talking about this fat guy. All right. I have some good news and some bad news. Okay. The election will start at 10 o'clock tonight. It will end Thursday at 10 p.m. If there is a runoff, and if you've looked at the candidates, you know there will be a runoff. That will happen, I think it happens Friday through Sunday night. Make sure you vote. Go to uh, Ref Zebraware. Go to Ref Town. And go into the ballot and vote, okay? Now, the good news is, Arnold's not here to tell you that, but how many of y'all have received three emails about this election already today? Oh, I have. Whew, Arnold. All right. Without further ado. No, I don't think so. We are going to have our speeches. Oh, Arnold did tell me that he will have the video posted for those who are not here tonight that are working or doing something. He'll have the video posted so you can see the candidates and their speeches. All right, so we'll start with president. And this is just off of Arnold's list on Reftown. Uh, yo. I don't have everybody's number on my phone. <laughs> oh, give Wayne your name. What's his number? He's number one. 512-825-9587. All right. Are you good? Ricky Williams is not here. I know. He's working tonight. Uh, DMAC, are you here? There he is. We're going to go down the list just like Arnold had it on Reftown. It's just easier that way. So DMAC. 
Uh, Mr. Wadil, you're on deck. <laughs> uh, we can't have Pete time because Pete doesn't know time. What about three minutes? Five minutes? Who's time with me? Two three. minutes. Three. One, two, one, three. Three minutes. All right. Hey, I'll make it quick then. Uh, it's an honor to be nominated. It's an honor to serve if elected because uh, that's truly what the position is. Um, wouldn't it be nice if we had a candidate pool like this for all of our elections? Uh, a great uh, group of guys, some great ideas. Uh, if elected, I'm not opposed to stealing a few of the ideas. Uh, the, uh, but what, what would qualify me, I just, I've been on the board before, uh, served, uh, and my one promise to you is to uh, serve with a, a positive attitude, and uh, every good campaign deserves a campaign promise. So my campaign promise to you will be I will never refer to you as a bunch of jack wagons. <laughs> but they are. That was good though. But they are. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. It's better than what I call, call the rookies. They're lower than maggot excrement. But hey, not, you're not rookies now, boys and girls. Dwayne, Ethan, on deck. All right, uh, I'm going to be quick as well. I appreciate the, the honor to be nominated. Um, there's a lot of great candidates, so, uh, but I hope that uh, I get the chance to serve. I've been one of those guys that, that get lived off the milk of other people for a long time and didn't serve, uh, so it's time for me to step up. This was a place to do that. Uh, I'd love to do it. I have some unique ideas. I think our biggest problem is recruitment. Um, I'd like to, to go to seven-man crews across the board. That means a lot more people. It means we need enough people for Jackson or whoever the assistant secretary is to not have to be crying on Thursday nights. Um, so what I want to do is, is propose some creative solutions, like if you recruit somebody every year for the first three years they're in the chapters, you get half your dues off because we're making the dues on them instead. So it's not going to cost the chapter any money. So those are the kind of things I'd like to be able to explore and look at, and uh, I'm done. Thanks. KK, you're on deck. Yes, sir. Thank you. Me too. I'll uh, repeat again. I'll make this short and sweet. Uh, my uh, platform is on the internet, so. Uh, no, no need to go into that, but what uh, Dwayne said, I want to say the same thing too. I, uh, it's time for me to give back. I've heard that recently a lot, and there's more to calling football and being here and showing up on Monday night. Uh, there's something that you have to give back. There's uh, always what they say, you want to leave something better than you found it, and that's the whole reason I want to do this. I want to be able to do something for you guys. Thank you for the nomination. Rick James, on deck. I was going to drop a P word. All right, uh, this is not loaded, by the way. It doesn't fold out. Oh, it's not going to no, fold sir. down this way? Yeah, yeah. I want to congratulate the nominees. Wish them uh, limited luck. Uh, congratulate uh, my Lockhart brother, JB, on a job well done. A um, little background for me I've been officiating 27 years. 15 in the Austin chapter, 12 in Corpus Christi. Uh, did baseball in Corpus for nine years at the Colt Pony League select level. Um, both my parents were in school districts, coaching, teaching. Dad coached 40 years football and baseball. Been around football all my life. Um, I'm an Austin chapter ad advocate. I love this chapter. The guys in it, camaraderie. We need to share that with the up and coming guys. Um, I want to look again at the chapter's views on introducing lower level officials onto higher level crews. I like to joke and have fun, but I'm very de detail oriented. Uh, I'd like to be a facilitator for all the chapter members. Recruiting. I'm real big on this. Um, I want to form a committee and have ideas to expand the process. I know it's very important for, to get recruiting and get guys in this chapter. We've got to have them. 
So I know we can do a better job. We've done a good job, but I know we can blow the doors off of that. Uh, meetings, I'd like to make meetings full of content, interesting, educational, films, enthusiasm. Um, make it important to come to a meeting. Um, I want to lean on uh, the supervisor officials for a lot of that help. Attendance. We should want to come to the, to the meetings. I feel like we have to for three or four or, or whatever and get our quota in and never show up again until the barbecue. We should want to come to the meetings and see our fellow, uh, fellow officials. Um, and with uh, better content in the meetings, it will be easier for us to want to do that. Uh, but I've been in this chapter 15 years, and I think I might have missed two meetings. Um, so I pat myself on the back for that. Anyway, uh, years ago, we had a somewhat of a fitness program. We had some guys get together and, and exercise during the off season and during the season. I'd like to see if we could do that again. Um, I know it's important to have a, a good product on the field, be fit. Um, it's also kind of important in life too. So you might want to think about that. Uh, I want to make sure all crews are on the same page with philosophies, um, with things like the fashion police, things like uh, blocking the back, Etc. cetera, uh, supervisor can help with those uh, issues as well. Don't want to hear that old uh, crap we hear from the coach. Last week the crew didn't call them like that. So anyway, uh, maybe establish a chapter-wide protocol on how to interact with the coaches before games. Have some do's and don'ts, how long, how, not, how long not to. That way we can have it on uh, paper, black and white. This is what we should do, this is what we shouldn't do. Um, we have an obligation to the players, to the parents, the coaches, to perform at a high level during uh, our game, especially on Friday nights. How many of you guys remember having a bad or a good call against you or for you when you were playing football in high school or college? Oh, they screwed me every time. See? See? <laughs> we, can, we can impact. We have an impact, guys, so let's, let's uh, do our best and uh, that's my time. Thank you for yours. Please vote. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Do you know how you were uh, nominated? Um, yeah, I saw it. Okay. There you go, bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, like everybody else, would like to thank you for the nomination. It, it was greatly appreciated. You can go online and look at the candidate profile to see some of the ideas that I've set forth that I'd like to see happen. Uh, but I think the main thing that is troubling to me, and it's always been an issue and it's getting worse, is the sub-varsity scheduling. Um, my opinion is, is that we've got too much, we, we've, we do too much on Tuesday and Thursdays, obviously. And I think since this is a non-realignment year, I think it would behoove us and the president takes the lead on this to actually meet with the, the athletic directors of the districts that we use. We need to work with them as a partner and show them the problems that we're having and try to get them to move these games half and half and whatever to Mondays for the junior highs, some to Wednesdays for the varsities, and even some possibly even Saturday mornings. I know that back in the day I used to work Saturday mornings so varsities when Dragon was grass and they didn't want to play it, so we did all of Round Rock's games, some on Saturday morning over at Chisholm Trail. But if we don't address it now, we're not going to be able to expand this chapter and, ex and grow it with additional schools because Wayne can't go right now and promise them that we can cover their sub varsity when we can't cover them the way they need to be right now. So really this is kind of a point of critical mass for us. We're either get them to help us, which helps themselves, or we may end up dropping back some and losing schools. I know that we lost three this year. I don't know how many more we might lose for the next year. And we don't need to be losing schools. We need to be getting bigger and getting stronger uh, for the schools that we do work. So uh, again, I appreciate the nomination. I'd appreciate your support and vote. Thank you.
Since Ricky Williams couldn't be here, he emailed me his speech and asked me to read it for him. Yeah, Robert is on deck. Yeah, but okay. All right. Yeah, you want me to get some bass in my voice? <laughs> Ricky ain't got enough like Mike Williams. That's Mike Williams. Boogaloo. All right. He says, I am truly honored to be nominated. I truly would have liked to have been at our meeting tonight. I am presently doing a middle school AISD championship game at Nelson Field. As Jerry is reading this, the clock is running, and I am patting my leg. <laughs> yes, sir. He says, I'm honored to be recommended to run for the office of president of the greatest football association in Texas. I've been a member for over 38 years. I've worked one UIL state championship game on the field and one as an alternate. I've done over 350 varsity games. I've worked games at all levels from Pop Warner Middle School, High School, College, and the Lone Star and Juco, and even semi-pro. I have a deep passion for the sport. I treat every game as a Super Bowl for the young people that play the game. He is currently past president of the Texas Relays and has been on the board for over eight years, serving as president, vice president, and board member. He is presently, Ricky, the United States Track and Field Certification Chairman for South Texas and has been for eight years. He services over 300, 350 officials in the South Central Texas District. I also serve on the Rules Committee for the U.S. Track and Field Rules Committee. I know this position is very important and very meaningful. I know that in this position there are a lot of crucial things that have to be decided. I have no problem in working with these decisions based on the best recommendations for the Austin chapter. I know there is a lot of things from being a member that is a major concern of the chapter that really need to be addressed. I will listen to all issues, problems, and even recommend amendments to the chapter bylaws to make the changes more effective. I will work for more playoff games, better rating of officials, recruiting, rewards, and retention, effective meetings, and more effective official reviews. I know that there are a few things that could be done and I am willing to work toward making every official feel like they are the best. I know in being president, you have to be a dependable, good listener, and willing to listen to the chapter concerns. I want to put an official evaluation of officials to ensure all officials work to the best of their abilities. If an official is having problems, then work to help the official grow to be a better official. I will work with the supervisor of officials to ensure that every evaluation is truly as accurate as possible for the crew for rating purposes. Thank you for your vote. Ricardo Ricky Williams. Thank you. <clears throat> That's hard to follow. I don't know what I can say that uh, hadn't already been, been said. The, the duties of the president is to uh, preside at all meetings of AFOA, uh, chair of the executive committee, and then appoint any temporary committees. So I would hope to uh, fulfill those duties um, to, the, to the success that the board has, and, and I would also help to uh, communicate any, any decisions that are made at the board level to the membership. Um, Darren said it best, every good campaign has a uh, campaign promise. And for those of you that would like to, I'm buying the beer at the Posse after this. And if you don't drink beer, I'll buy your iced tea. <laughs> that is a promise I can keep. Did you change your name to Beto? <laughs> you know what that stands for? Bend every Tasso member over. No, I'm just playing. Thank you, Robert. All right, Jay, let's uh, go with the assistant secretary position. Jason Dush, you're up. Slant, you're on deck.
You're not gonna shoot me, are you? Okay, you can you can tase me later. <laughs> yeah, clip, go ahead, clip. There you go, sir. Uh, first, it's an honor to be nominated to uh, work with all of you. Uh, a couple little things. I've been in the chapter for three years. Uh, D3, married, have four children. Uh, so I understand the workload of uh, balancing, officiating, and, and working and, and managing your family. I've uh, been in public safety for 25 years, so I've uh, learned a lot about diversity and working with people and working for people. And one of the things about serving people is you have to be humble and grounded. I think that's going to be important. I uh, officiated soccer for 13 years uh, and also uh, was a scheduler for our select league for adult and youth, uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and managed about 250 officials for that. I served on a board for eight years with the National Association of Flight Paramedics. Uh, I was the state of Texas representative for the National Association. My goal would be to address some of the change, uh, the fact that uh, change is scary. So some of the things that I'd like to look at to see that to help with the scheduling process is schedule early in the season. I know we all have busy schedules, so getting the schedule out early uh, so we kind of know how to uh, adjust for your work uh, and focus on where people live and, and where they want to work uh, to make it easier for you. I think it's important to allow younger officials to work with more seasoned guys to get experience. I learned a lot uh, working with Doug and some of the other ones out on the field during my first and second and even this year, uh, having somebody to bounce. Uh, calls off of either during the game or days before or weeks before that was always a benefit So I think it's important to maintain that which a lot of people have already said that we need to to bridge that gap with folks um, I think looking at a blended uh, pre-assign and uh, open request schedule uh, is something we need to consider is a way to ensure that we at least have some coverage for the games is uh, uh, there's a lot of games that are going to be out there uh, as we continue to grow as a chapter We might have other ideas that come along, but I think starting off that might be an area to look at I will work to uh, represent the chapter in a fluid process um, uh, Which doesn't leave the schools and the players without officials I think that's a bad reflection on our chapter if we have ten games that we can't feel and we've committed to that So I want to make sure that we're representing ourselves as the Austin chapter uh, as the officials that we are because uh, we represent each other And I think that's important um, one of the things that I would look to do is figure out where people live and put the schools and kind of block it off to have uh, zones where if you work or live in an area that you'd like to work and it makes it easier for you, then schedule in that area so we don't have people showing up late and we don't have people declining games because they can't get there. So if uh, we're just filling spots to fill spots, I think we need to factor in the, the human factor and that's where people would like to, to end their day. If it's close to home or close to work, it would allow you to work uh, and get that. Um, I would seek open communication with all of you and take your input to see if there's some ideas that we could use in the off season as we go into the upcoming season uh, to build out what this would look like, work with the board as well, uh, work with uh, John and Wayne to figure out uh, ways that they do things that, would, that we could narrow that gap. Because right now we kind of have three different ways of scheduling is done. I know that can be confusing at times and frustrating, but working with these guys with that experience to help bridge that gap would be important. The other thing I think it would be important to do as a scheduler uh, is to follow up. If you shoot an email, a text, a phone call, to follow up in a timely manner, in a professional manner to get back to you, make sure we follow up and uh, that you're not left out in the dark if you're needing to get out of a game or you're trying to get into a game. Uh, I want to work hard to serve the chapter. Um, I want to be fair and respectful to everybody. Uh, I'll create relationships with you, learn about you. I think it's important to, to know the people you're working for and you're working with uh, so we can factor in everybody's personal lives as you uh, are having to balance life and work and, and football. We all want to be good officials, so uh, I want to do my part to serve you. Uh, and I'll close with this. It's time for new direction and progress. You are the voice for change, and your voice matters to me. Dare to be different. Mr. Jackson. It's not slant now? Well, it's slant Jackson. It's always been slant. It's always been slant. Okay, first thing I want to do is say thank you very much for the last 12 years that I've been your secretary. Looking at it, it's never the same every year, and it's always a new opportunity and new challenges. Looking ahead, we definitely have new challenges ahead of us as a chapter. We're going to have to find a way to 
grow as a chapter and to communicate to our schools and get them to understand what we can do and what we can't cover. We need to prioritize as a chapter our games and make sure that we communicate those to schools. There's a lot of things that we can continue to do that we're doing right. Keep on requesting ga games. Make sure that we go ahead and do a little bit more assigning on some of those harder games that are to fill. Keep doing the schedule all the whole season in advance so that you know that your schedule is in August. And those are the things that I plan on to keep doing. The other thing I do plan on doing is to keep asking questions and getting your input on how to do this job a little bit better. So other than that, thank you again for 12 years and I hope you'll elect me for another three. Oh, thank you, sir. Mr. Dees. There you go. All right. Um, all right. Hello, my name is Ruben Dees. For those of you who don't know me, I am uh, going for the assistant uh, assigner for Thursday through Saturday. Uh, I've been in the chapter for seven years, been officiating for 21, mostly baseball in Texas and in Missouri. I also work for a Fortune 500 company in the software side. I am familiar with RefTown. I work closely with John Carter. Uh, looking at the schedules, me and John actually, we do the baseball assigning for the Austin chapter. So I'm familiar with the uh, coaches, the athletic directors, they all know me. I'm the varsity assigner for baseball. Uh, me and John assign over 3,000 games a year for baseball. So, and we do it with 84 people. This is a lot bigger group, bigger pool. I think we've got ways to make it more efficient and make it easier on everybody. Uh, other than that, I'd like to tell Mike Jackson thank you for the 12 years that you've done it, but I do think we need change. Uh, if elected, I'd like to keep the uh, open request going. I think that does work, but I think we need to address the outline schools and work our way in. Other than that, I'd like to say thank you guys for the nomination. And in closing, you know, everybody get out and vote. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, Division two rep. Benny is not able to be here, so Brad Patterson is going to read a statement from Benny. Gary, you're on deck, Bubba. All right. Take some time. I got <laughs> For Jerry's benefit, I'm going to speak very slowly. <laughs> or insist that he hurry up. Fellow officials, I apologize that I'm not able to make the meeting tonight to speak to you in person. I've asked Brad Patterson, my friend and crew chief, to speak to you on my behalf. I would just like to say that it would be a privilege to represent your concerns and questions at each board meeting. My sole responsibility would be to make sure your voice and ideas about the direction of the chapter are heard. We all have a reason we officiate. I wanna make sure that your reason for remaining a member is represented. I appreciate your consideration and would appreciate your vote to represent you as D2 representative. Regards, Benny Luera. Gary? Hi, I'm uh, Gary Pirix. For those of you who don't know me, I'm running for Division II uh, representative. Uh, I've got my uh, profile up on RefTown a couple of weeks ago, and I sent out an email to the current D2s yesterday to give a lot of detail on why I'm running for this position. So I won't go through all of that, but I'll uh, basically say that the reason I'm up here and the reason I'm running for this position is I think everything that I've been successful with in life, I'd look back on it and the, my job, 
is everything that's been successful usually results from good communication from the beginning of the uh, process all the way through it. So my platform to you as the Division II rep is I'll be a good communicator with you, uh, with the D2s. Uh, what does that mean specifically if you're a D2 official? First of all is I know I'll be hearing from you, but I want to hear from you. If you have suggestions, issues, whatever that you want to talk about, please do so. Call me, text me, email me. I'll even meet you for a cup of coffee or a beer if you want to. But I want to know what's on your mind. Uh, you will always get it. If, if an answer or response is required, you will always get an answer or response from me as quickly as I can get back to you if I don't have the answer right then. The second thing I'm going to say is football lasts about four, four, four months of the year. But we have uh, board meetings during the whole year. So I will make sure that the D2s know of, up, of all upcoming board meetings. I'll make sure that you know what the agenda is. And I'll solicit your input on anything that you want me to take in as a D2 official into that, uh, into that meeting. At the end of the meeting, I promise I'll get back to you within 48 hours with any meeting minutes or notes that I take at that meeting. Uh, third, last but most important probably, is that again, the football season lasts about four months. But it seems like all during the year, we've got dues that are, that are coming due. We have tests that we're supposed to be taking. We've got uh, meetings we're supposed to be attending. Everybody's busy. What I commit to you is that I'll keep a spreadsheet with everybody's name all in the D2s. And I will over communicate with you. I'll probably hassle you along with the uh, emails that you're already getting to make sure that your dues are coming up and that you're aware of that. I'll, I'll let you know what your status is of the meetings that you need to attend. I'll make sure that there's no surprises with you guys as far as what you have to do to remain a, an effective D2 official. Uh, I promise I'll do that to you and we'll make sure there's no surprises at the end of the year. So that's basically it. My whole platform for, uh, is based on communication. Uh, I'm really pleased to have been nominated for this position. I promise I'll do my best to make all the D2s proud for me to be the representative. I'm asking for your vote, but whatever you do, please vote. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mike. The mic is all yours. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, my name is Mike Snow. I'm running for D2 rep. Uh, the whole thing about this is the communication that we have through the board, bringing it down to the D2 members. Um, been at this for a long time. Uh, I want to continue being this. I want to give back to uh, the board and to the officials. Um, like I said before, we just need to get out and vote, and everybody needs to uh, take part. Go ahead, Adam. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Division four, five, that means all you ones back there in the corner, y'all need to be quiet. Thank you, sir. Yes. All right. I know how y'all are. For those who don't know me, I'm Adam Ryan. I'm a Division Four rep. This is my fourth year in the Austin chapter. Uh, when considering to run, and, and I'm thankful to be nominated, I first asked uh, Brad Patterson, who's my crew chief, I said, what does a Division Four and Five rep do? Uh, and this is my fourth year in the chapter. And it's, it's actually, I think, a reality of the situation that there's been a lack of communication um, and mostly poor expectation, I think, setting for this role specifically. Uh, for me, uh, I believe that the Division Four and Division Five rep is looked as the bottom of the totem pole of the board. They're the note takers. Uh, they're they're kind of the last one. But at the same time, I think that Division Four and Five reps are the most important people in the chapter. It's because of that. It's because of that view. I think is why we're in the situation we are today, where we're having aging officials. Our turnover rate is high. It's because Division Four and Five reps aren't being taken care of like they're the most important people in the chapter. And so that's why I'm running. Uh, how I plan on doing that is one, identifying and treating the job totally different than probably the rest of the division reps. I think the job is different. 
Uh, you have to, I think it's working closely with Doug Duke and the recruiting team and Burkle and the training to make sure that we have officials that have the right motivations, that have the right physical and mental abilities to do this, uh, and that can last a long time. I think we do that by looking at our, our top officials in this chapter who have been around for 20 and 30 years and say, what's kept you around? And then we go find young officials and folks that match that so we can keep them around for 20 and 30 years. And then that all goes back to holding people accountable in this chapter. I found it really uh, frustrating my first year. I'll never forget it. I got a call from, uh, or I got an email from Wayne on a Friday morning. He said, hey, I, uh, you want to go work this six-man varsity game tonight. It's my first game I ever worked. I also had never seen a six-man game before. Uh, so I get out there, and I'm paired with, uh, I looked them up, like Division Three or so official, and they didn't move. Uh, they didn't, they were, they had been around a lot, and they didn't move. And it was my first game out there. I was like, what are you doing? And it was taking forever. And then the next, I, the next week, I worked a Tuesday game, and it was with a platinum official, and I was looking forward to learning from them. And there was no out of bounds the whole game. And I was like, what is this? And it's teaching me and everybody in Division 4 and 5 reps that that's the behavior. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's the, that, that right there is, I think, what's causing this issue, is that the chapter is not taking seriously, that that's actually a training moment for that official, and you're teaching them not to care about the game. And so I hope to bring that voice uh, to change there. I hope that actually this, this position itself can help fix the recruiting problem and the training problem and the retention. So with that, thank you for the nomination, and I look forward to your votes. I'm not guilty, though. All right, next up, Conroy Swan. There's Conroy. And Thomas Ryan, you're on deck. Oh, you got all dialed up. Dilly dilly. D. Y'all don't know Harvey Jeffries. Most of y'all. Harvey was always pimping. All right. Conroy Swan, for y'all that I haven't had the pleasure to meet and or work with. Born and raised in the area. Played sports, football, whole nine. So I'm a second year official. And I'm not going to give you the natural born leader speech. You've already heard that, and you can go to the profiles for that. I just want to touch on a couple, three things, if that's all right. Um, first of all, I am younger official, second year guy, like I said. I know what it's like to juggle between a, having a young family and a job where you're trying to, trying to build tenure at and also being out there because you love this game. I also take the craft seriously. Matt Jones, Joe Burkle, they've driven that home consistently for us. And also, I do value the relationships, the people that I meet, people I get to work with. And I'm just gonna say, I think taking those as the foundation, they'll all dovetail it together into giving me the perspective that I need to present to the board if I get elected to this position. We're all out here because we love the game. I second that and whatever I gotta do, I'll do it if I am elected. Appreciate the nomination. I'm not going to pretend that I know everybody in this room, but I do like to make it a point to meet as many people as I can, work at as many sites as I can, so that we do get to know each other, so that we do know the issues that each other experience. And every, as everybody in front of me has noted, we do all have issues scheduling our games, getting to sites due to the work-life balance. We all have families. We all have work that, you know, it's hard to get to sites. So I want to make sure that, that we're represented by somebody who's familiar with these issues, who, who knows what everybody's going through and, and can work with each and every one of us. Um, so I, I, I received my nomination for the Division Four, Division Five rep based off of the experience that I've had with my fellow trainees. But I want to, to make a point that, you know, I've, I've been out there working with everybody here, not just with them. So I'm going to we're going to represent all of the Division Four, Division Five reps. And it's been noted that there's been a lack of communication. There has been. It's been noted that, that there's been issues with recruiting and with, with scheduling. And we want to get those all addressed. Uh, I was just speaking with Doug before the, 
before the meeting about an idea I had with recruitment. So there, there are other ideas, there are other things that we can do, be doing and we're gonna get out there and we're going to do them. And I hope that we can all move to, forward together to make the chapter stronger, to, to raise our, our head count so that we do get more folks out there and that we can keep them. Um, I've been working for 15 years now on a support basis where I've been doing weekly conference calls, collecting issues from all parties involved and making sure everybody's heard, everybody's addressed, and everything is resolved in a manner that all parties are represented and that all parties are taken care of. And I hope to bring that to the board so that we can make sure that everybody has a, a voice and that everybody gets heard. Um, I'm sorry, I feel like I've, I've been the most nervous speaker tonight. You're doing fine. They, they, nobody in here more special than anybody else, <laughs> ever. Well, well, except Melvin Lindsay. <laughs> hey, don't forget, forget about Melvin. you, Jerry. Um, I, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and close up. Everybody have a nice evening and, and drive safe. Okay. Now, as Jonathan was pointing out before the four fives got up, get with Wayne. If you're moving from three to two, because you can vote in division two. If you're moving out of division four or five, you can still vote for four and five rep. Anything else? Okay, I'm not gonna let Pete Town talk because you know he takes 45 minutes. <laughs> but he's nominated for supervisor of officials and he's running unopposed, so thanks Pete. I'll be quick. I just want to say that, again, I want to just thank Marvell mostly for, you know, when I, when I joined, came back to the chapter three years ago, he plugged me in as an evaluator and as an instructor. And, and I just, you know, I appreciate the, that. I appreciate the hard work that he's put into this position. And I just hope that, uh, you know, I can, you know, keep, keep it moving forward from where he, from, stand on his shoulders as he, as he stood it up. I also want to say that I hate him for actually not wanting to do this job anymore. Um, I, I did, and I did want to speak today because I was really, I really wanted to be the first one in history to ever lose an unopposed election. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, vote early, vote often, write in a lot. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. The ballot opens at 10 p.m. tonight. Okay, make sure you vote. Uh, Marvell, do you have anything to address to the peeps? Yeah, <laughs> y'all remember that twenty-minute meeting last week? You know, short ain't nothing short tonight. Nothing's gonna be short tonight. I got 25 planes. Two minutes. This ain't in a field. Hey, we gonna lock it. Hey, hey, Derek Spears, come on, sit down. Come on in here. JT, come on in here. Lock the doors. <laughs> All right. No, really. I'm not going to take all your day, just about five hours, not all of it. First of all, I have, you know, the very hard part about this job is when you leave it, really, is because you got to thank all the people who have helped you and who have done things for you. And you don't want to leave anybody out. So when you leave somebody out, that is really bad. So it took me a long time to figure out how I'm going to thank all these people. I just thank everybody. How's that? But no, I have a... Some, some people I really like to thank, and that's Merle and Suna for the job they do for us, providing uh, service for us, for our people in the outliners. And I would like to thank all the observers. You know, this, I think, I'm not sure, I never asked, but I think this is really the first time we had observers to really go out to your games and evaluate you. 
made in right, wrong, and different. They went out there and you had somebody to look at you. I'd like to thank Larry Hargrove, who just joined us this year. He was part-time last year. Uh, I would like to thank Richard Wall. He's been here a couple of years with us, doing a nice job. I'd like to thank Terry Jones, who helped out for a few years. I'd like to thank Bill Steffick, who helps out, and he lives out in BFD, and he helps out, and he comes way out here to Georgetown, Round Rock, drives a little ways, and he helps us out. I'd like to thank Ed Ward, who came back and giving back. I mean, he's a hard worker. He comes out there, and he, Hey, he means well, and he wants us all to do good. Uh, I want to thank Rich Gerard, who was not with us this year, but he helped out previously. Not only that, he helped out on the field, just like with Bill. Uh, also, like to thank Pete Tao for being brave enough to take this position, or stupid enough, I should say, to take this position. I want to thank the board uh, for the opportunity to be the supervisor of officials for you guys, and they kind of let me do what I wanted to do. Uh, there are some things I wish I would have done. There's things I wish I'd have done better. There's things I just didn't do right at all. But I think overall, I like to not going to say I'm going home to pat myself on the back. There's no way I'm gonna do that. I'm just too hard of a worker. I just think that I like to hope everybody in there is a general member we have improved. Because I remember the first day I came in here, I told the guys on the line of scrimmage, I want you to stay on the line of scrimmage. Boy, I had a tough time, a rough time for you guys understanding that. Now you go look at film, ain't nobody leaving the line of scrimmage. It's like, yeah. And, and what change came, uh, I know, a big burden on you guys because I wasn't raised and born in Texas football like you guys. And you guys are very passionate about your football. There's an old saying. You know, you can be the governor if you don't believe in God, but if you don't believe in football, you probably lose in the state of Texas. But hey, you guys are real passionate about your football. Uh, I want to thank the past presidents and the board. I want to thank them. I want to thank the whole general membership for coming aboard on what I was trying to do. Without you guys, we would not be successful. I don't care who's at top, bottom, or in the middle. We would not be successful if it wasn't for you guys. Uh, I also would like to thank one of our members who passed. Uh, he was actually, he beat me out of the supervisor position the first time. And, you know, he came ill and, uh, you know, so I want to thank him also. And let's move on. I think Pete Tao will be a great choice. He's a great choice and he will take it to the next level. I think it's time for new ideas and new things. All right, I will always still be around helping out and whatever Pete would ask me to do, I will do if I can. And I definitely take, you know, individual calls like you guys have been doing. And we go over plays and I'm just going to give you my opinion. Might be right, might be wrong, but I'm going to give you my opinion. All right, with uh, further ado, I guess you guys are wanting to look at your uh, playoff positions. Uh, I know we have one more week left, as I'm correct, Wayne. Two weeks left? Two weeks left? Yeah, two weeks left. I thought we have some crews that we might could take a sneak peek at. And they might can adjust. I showed Pete Tal the preliminary one here, but there's like he said, I'm looking at this crew this week. I'm looking at another crew next week. And I don't want to put that out and something change. All right, not as scared to put it up. I mean, I only got like 30 more days with you. I changed my number for the next 29. So I ain't worried about it. Um, catch me, I live on the east side. You won't even go over there, so I ain't worried about it. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, like I said again, I just want to thank everybody. You know, it, this chapter is only as good as you guys. I don't care who's at top here, who's talking, who's showing you film, who's backing you up. You're only as good as your members. And if your members, eh, you're always going to say there's a bad apple in every membership. It might be. I mean, uh, but you're only as good as your membership. Any job you have, any place you worked, you're only as good as the people who are working. That guy that owns uh, Walmart, Walmart would not be successful if it wasn't for his workers. Trust me. 
Trust me. So it doesn't matter how big or small the organization is. It's only as good as its membership. And I'd like to thank all you guys. That's it. Oh, that was for now. Oh, yeah, well, I got 10 more things. Uh, I will still be putting together a playlist for you to go look at. I'm working on it and working hard. I'll be working to December 31st, and it will be out, I promise you, for about 150 plays, blocks below the waist, illegal blocks in the backs, roughing the passer. It's going to be a little playlist, and you guys can enjoy that. Thanks. Margo, thank you. Mm -hmm. Without this, I, can't see it I know. <laughs> okay, remember to vote. Because of the number of candidates for president, I can guarantee you there will be a runoff. According to Arnold's email, correct me if I'm wrong, you over there playing? The runoff election will begin Friday, I think at 10 a.m., and end Sunday at 10 a.m. So, after the results are tabulated Thursday, go in Friday to Ref Town. You'll probably get another 200 emails from Arnold. God bless him. And he'll let you know who's running off in what divisions. Make sure you vote. Bye. We are having a board meeting, guys. Sorry, we are having a board meeting. Yeah, I'm going to go over the football game without a license.